I'm going to rewind here and then just record a little bit with the arpeggiator, with the lead guitar, on top of what I've already done. So some of this stuff can be deep. Like, you can also play the drums. You don't have to use the drum machine on the guitar. You can, Andy can play the drums. Load up a drum kit. He could load up an electronic kit, a drum kit, and play the drums. Um, you know, other people that aren't musicians or aren't good at the drums can pick up the guitar and just have fun with the drum loops and funk around. I didn't even show you guys that by pushing this button, the star power button, it actually switches to a percussion bank. So, like, if you're playing a rock kit and you want those congas, you push this, the percussion light lights on, and now all your, all your beats are with, like, Latin congas or something. We ha each drum kit has a unique percussion bank. All right, so now with the arpeggiator, I've got arpeggiator types. Arpeggiation means basically you play two keys and it either jumps between the two, dun 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 dun, dun or goes dun 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 dun. If you just hold one down, it's just an easy way to make really funky rhythms for people who aren't really musicians or who want to just make easy rhythms. So I'll make it on. I'll put it on up and down, and I'll do it on sixteenth notes. You can also link it with a drum machine. So if somebody's funking with the drum machine, we'll only play a note when there's a drum hit. So it kind of like syncopates your guitar with the drum machine. It's really cool for like two-man uh, improv improvisation. I gotta kill the click. If it's, if it's a sustain or really staccato note. Hold two down. the octave. All right, so now we can go one more pass and we can do a rhythm guitar. You also have melody, which is like a keyboard where we're going to give you a bunch of like analog synth sounds and chorus sounds and stuff. The melody will actually be used for the, it could be used for the vocalist to sing back. Um, we're not recording vocals, there's like a million both legal and other issues to allow people to actually upload their own vocals uh, currently. So uh, for World Tour, we're just doing, we, we do the melody so the vocalist can play back the melody. So you can play the vocal part on a keyboard with chorus sounds or guitar sounds or synthesizer sounds and they'll be able to sing back that part if they wanted to. You can also assign the melody to be played back as the guitar. You have a lot of flexibility when you publish your song to GH Tunes. You can say, I want the player to play back my melody part on the guitar because it's more of a keyboard, keyboard uh, song. Or I want them to play back the lead or the rhythm or a combination of the two or the bass. So the rhythm guitar is all about using chords and um, playing power chords. We have, we have essentially have, I didn't even show you this, the scale. You can go in, you can change your root note. Sorry. You can change the root note and then you can change the scale. So this can gets a little hardcore for people who um, don't have to touch this if you don't want to. You can change from main, major to custom where you can go in and actually 
change whatever the assignment for each note. Uh, there's blues scale, minor, major pentatonic, minor, major pentatonic. I'll just stick with major because everything else I have recorded is an E major. But I can also switch from power chords to E chords. That, that may make sense to some of you, but if it doesn't, you don't have to worry about it. All it means is that you'll have more variety of music to download. Let me just 